we're taking a look at two exciting things. First off, the all new Fat Shark Recon HD goggles. And the Rotorite Vision 40. These two things represent some breaking of ground in the world of digital FPV because we've got a really affordable goggle that is capable of full digital FPV. A complete goggle solution. You don't need a separate receiver. Yep. You don't need... You don't, don't need antennas. You don't need antennas. The antennas yep. are built in. Yep. So this is everything you need other than a battery. And then a battery. But this is everything you need to be flying in full Avatar HD. And we also have a micro HD whoop, which is really kind of insane because like back when HD first started, all of the VTXs were really large, so to see all the technology getting really smaller is really awesome. Yeah, I think these two things together are gonna make a really cool package that's gonna help a lot of people experience HDFPV for yep. the first time, and especially this time of year, where depending where you're at, maybe you've got a lot of snow outside. Or, or hurricanes, because it's yeah, hurricane here in season. in Florida, man, we've got some serious storms going on, so today we're just hanging out in the warehouse. We're gonna rip, we're gonna have a great time. Let's look at what's going on with these Recon HD goggles. So this is what's referred to as a box goggle. So it's a little bit different from what we've seen with the high-end Fat Shark Dominator goggles, where in this case, there is actually just one single panel and then some optics that helps both eyes look at the same screen. So if you, if you look closely, you've just got a single optical element but it's divided in the center so that each eye can focus on the screen. You don't have that same level of adjustability that yeah. you have with the high-end dominator where you can adjust the spacing of the individual displays. And the focus. And focus. So you do need to basically have good vision going into this. <laughs> so it, that means if you have bad vision, wear your contacts, or I think you can fit glasses in these. I mean, one thing that I also like about these box goggles is like a lot of box goggles that I've had experience with are like heavy. Like yeah. really big, like I mean, these are really like, sleek. It doesn't feel like when this is on my head, like it's flopping around like to a ridiculous extent, but it is certainly bigger. Yeah, my, but my neck isn't sore after using it, which is a big plus. So the trade-off is while it's not as like optically advanced as something with micro displays like the Dominator, yeah. you get it at a much more affordable price point and yeah. you get almost all of the same features. Yeah. So this has the avatar system built right into it. You've got your control button here. So just like on the Dominator, you've got a five-way joystick for navigating the menus. You've got your return button and you've got your start and stop record because that's right, you got DVR built into the drones. Your SD card slot right in the middle, just like Fat Shark always does. The other thing, uh, I don't see any place to screw on antennas. This has built-in antennas, that's which right. is really nice like for form factor. Like You can just throw this in your bag. Like No worries about having to take off antennas all the time. Um, I really like that they went this direction with these box goggles because I feel like box goggles have like more room in them so they can actually put antennas in them, but, but I've never seen anyone do that. Yeah, so there it. are four left-hand circular polarized antenna. So the left only trade-off there is that now you kind of have to put your drone on left-hand circular polarized. But all the VTXs come with left-hand. That's right. So these are going to work perfectly with that. Yeah. But if you do want to tweak your setup and use aftermarket right-hand antennas, these goggles aren't going to be the best for that. But I mean, if you're really creative and you're really a bit of a DIYer, you, you can, can open them up. Yeah, you can open yeah. these up. The antennas are, are attached to the main board with uh, U.FL connectors, so you could unplug the built-in antennas mm -hmm. and uh, install your own antennas or install SMA connectors. I think Fat Shark even predicted that some people might want to do that, so you can see that there's actually some features built into the molding here. You could drill out these areas, and that's going to be a perfect fit oh, for an SMA connector. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, these also have HDMI out, similar to the Dominator goggles. There's a USB-C uh, port on the bottom. You just plug that into HDMI, and you can output your video to any monitor you want. Yeah, I, I mean, that's pretty sweet. The only thing that this goggle is lacking versus mm -hmm. the higher end dominator is the ability to get to that high frame rate mode. So that means that these goggles max out at 60 frames a second. Which is maybe a problem for some people, but mm -hmm. I mean, even with the dominators that I run, I just use 1080p 60. You fly it at 60 frames? I do time. fly it at 60 frames. because yeah. I definitely prefer the higher frame rate mode, yeah. but it's a 1080p image. It's really good. It's so like, it looks really nice. And I mean, I find that after a pack or two, I get used to the 60. It's fine. I can fly it. Yeah. But I mean, it's like half the price, though. So exactly. it's still a thing. <laughs> exactly. I mean, <laughs> at the price point that this is coming in at, you're not going to be upset with this. Yeah.
we move on to the drone, this drone has the Avatar Whoop board. So this board supports one to three S and it's perfect for these little drones. This drone spins 40 millimeter props. It's on two S. It's like really fast. So when the one S version of the Avatar video transmitter was announced, a lot of people were really excited yeah. because it was like, whoops are finally getting true digital FPV. Yeah. But when we finally got our hands on the one S board, I think some people were a little bit bummed that the camera was still pretty large. Yeah. We had lots of plans and hopes of building 1S drones and really having like a true tiny whoop style drone. Yeah. But the camera's still just a little bit too heavy. So the yeah. mission here was, okay, could we put together a 2S drone that still captures the essence of that 1S indoor feel? Like something that gives you that ability to fly around your house safely yeah. and have a good time. Yeah. And I think this does that. Yeah, I think it's really smart that they went with having the camera in the center. So that's the one thing is having a really heavy camera. If you put it in the front or in the back, it's just gonna off balance the whole drone. So this drone flies really good. It still does have 2S power yeah. in a lightweight package. So if you do have access to a little bit larger of an indoor area, say a, a warehouse. drone warehouse, <laughs> <laughs> this thing shreds, yeah. dude. Dive. Oh, oh, why is that dive messing me up? Oh, 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 look, look, look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see that? I did it. Oh, hold on. Let me cover up the patches. Oh, the edges. Oh, of the I see, I see, you see yeah, it? I see, I see it. Do you see this? Like that yeah, when you yeah, get yeah, bad yeah. reception, the edge of the screen turns red. That's cool. So that's giving you like visual feedback that your range is low. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. It's gonna get it. Oh, oh no. I'm up there. Just turtle mode. I, no, I'm, I'm in a thing. I, I heard you on the right side, yep, over there. In the, it's over here? That's what I heard it. The drone is basically stuck in the worst possible place. I overshot the dive and got it pinched between the roller of the bay door and the wall. Like, it is pinched in there. So, we're gonna try rolling up the bay door and see if maybe it'll, like, come up out. That's the outside. Where's the drone now? How has this never happened before? This is insane. RIP this battery too. Oh, there it is. Got it. Let's see how skilled of a catcher I am. Here we go. There it is. <laughs> there we go. Got, Got it. it. Yep. Oh my God. Woo! Let me unplug this thing, man. It's built with a all-in-one board. So that's your ESCs and your flight controller all-in-one 25 by 25 board. Yep. The video transmitter just stacks right on top. We've got our camera mounted in a 3D printed pod here. Linear antenna to save some weight. Yeah, I don't think it matters that much because with these drones, we're not like flying really far. I mean, we tested flying around this whole warehouse, upstairs, downstairs, all throughout on 25 milliwatts. And we it, never had a problem. Yeah. Right? So we've been saying these things are affordable. The goggles, they're coming in at? 279. 279 for the goggles. And the Vision 40 starts at 339. So that means that for less than $700, you can be flying digital HD. Yeah. That's crazy. To be fair, that does assume that you have some stuff already. That assumes you have a radio, it assumes you have your batteries, yeah. chargers, that sort of stuff. If you don't have any of that stuff and you need to get started from scratch, yeah, we're gonna right. have different starter kits available. But still, even going with the full starter kit, you're gonna be able to get everything that you need to fly for less than $800. That's crazy. That's nuts. So I think for like this time of the year where you're gonna be flying more indoors, this is an awesome little package. Yeah, all Christmas time's also coming around. Yeah, it's cool. I feel like you can get one of these kits Start by flying the micro around your house, and then when you want to step up to a bigger drone, you can get yourself a five inch, still use the recon goggles. Still use the radio. They're all really high quality components that we have yeah. in the bundle. These things give you a really great entry point that as you grow and maybe get more into it, you can you know, upgrade one or the other and grow in your FPV journey without having to replace everything like you do when maybe you go with like DJI, yeah. and when you want to go into something else, it's like, you gotta get pretty much everything all over again. Yeah, I, need, I just wanna get this stupid line. Come on, here we go. Start low, get the ground, go up high. I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. Dude, inverted perch. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good, look at that thing up there. You know, dive out from the rafters into the yellow. Uh, you gotta go over that rafter. This one right here? Nope. No, yeah, one over to the left. Okay. Oh, oh, that was it, that was it, but. You just need to do it like a little better.
This is Tyler, he's our master tuner here at Rotary, and this drone was kind of his idea. I wanted to be able to use this 1S board, this new Waxdale 1S board, and get the most performance out of the smallest possible package. Nice. So he's running 1002 motors with 40 millimeter props, and that is like the perfect combo from what I hear. Uh, so far, yes. Yes. What's up with the bi-blades? I saw bi-blades and I've always seen tri-blades on these micros, so what made you go with these? Uh, well, just from flying it, really. I noticed better performance and better efficiency out of the bi-blades, okay. especially running on 2S. Mm -hmm. I tried playing around with tri-blade props and even quad blades. Oh, wow. Okay. Got some weird vibrations, so I just stuck with the bi-blades. Nice. Yeah, it's been good. And I think with 2S, you get like the ultimate performance where you're doing legit freestyle yeah. with this little guy versus... 1S. You yeah. can still tame it down. Oh, for sure. Throttle cap or just, you know, finger control, whatever. Yeah, even on this, I have a small throttle cap. Oh, you do? Because it's a little too crazy. We've been flying with the throttle cap yeah. all the time? Oh, at like 90-something wow. percent, yeah. Okay. So you've been flying this thing a lot in this wow. warehouse, right? A lot of testing, so I want to see some of your freestyle. Oh, I got some freestyle. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Best gap that I could pull off with the little guy. It's hard to see, the light was getting weird. I was like, all right, send it. Over the oh! <laughs> through the rafters into the pipe, man. That pipe that was, gave us some trouble. That was yeah. sick. By the way, if you guys are interested in trying this stuff out, we're having an event here at the warehouse. One of our open houses called Quads and Coffee. It's on November 19th. I know that's gonna be uh, pretty soon from yeah. when this video is being published. So, But if you are in the Orlando area, Definitely stop by, we'll leave a link in the description to the event details. Yep. And if you can't make it to this one, definitely subscribe to our newsletter or join our Facebook group where we're always talking about our upcoming events when you can come hang out here, see where we make our videos and actually fly our drones. If you guys are interested in picking this stuff up, the Recon HD is on pre-sale now. Uh, get your orders in because there are gonna be a limited amount of supply that will be able to be delivered by Christmas. Divisions, we're gonna start building them right now. So when you order them, we'll start working on your drone. We'll get it out to you quick. So if you wanna get flying sooner, you can pick up a vision to use with a dominator goggle. You yeah. can get that quicker. In the meantime, we get to have a lot more fun with it. <laughs> we're having a good time. Yeah. I just wanna keep shredding this thing, man. Yeah, let's do it.